Okay, so here's an example for calculating the average atomic mass given the percent natural abundance of a certain isotope and those isotope masses. Okay, so we're going to do an example for carbon. All right, and the first thing we're going to learn is how to calculate this average atomic mass that's shown on the periodic table. So if you look on your periodic table and find carbon, you're going to see this, okay? So the atomic number is 6, the elemental si symbol is capital C, okay? And then you're going to see this average atomic mass, 12.011, okay? Now that's a weighted average of the two major isotopes in carbon, okay? And so we're going to first learn how to calculate this number given the percent natural abundance of the two isotopes and their masses. And then in another example, we'll learn how to use the information on the periodic table to find the isotope mass for a different element. Okay? So let's go ahead and start first with some information. Okay? And what we need to know is that carbon-12, so the isotope carbon-12, which has six protons and six neutrons, is 98.89% abundant, okay? And we also need to know that its isotopic mass is t exactly 12 AMU. And so remember, that was basically designated, this is the standard on which we base all of the other isotope masses. Okay, so that's carbon-12. Now let's look at carbon-13, which is the other major isotope. Okay, so we know the only difference, we still have six protons, but now we have seven protons, and this little friend is 1.11% naturally abundant. Okay? Okay. All right, so how do we get this average atomic mass? So remember, that's what we're looking at. We're looking for this, okay? Now we have the isotopic mass for carbon-12 and its natural abundance. We do actually still need the isotopic mass for carbon-13, which is 13.00335. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and write down the equation that we would use to get this weighted average of the naturally abundant carbon isotopes, okay? So average atomic mass is equal to the sum of each isotope mass, okay, times the fractional abundance. Okay? All right, so that's the equation we're going to use. And so in this case, since we have two different isotopes, we are going to have two of these terms, okay? All right, so let's go to the next slide. Equation, okay? So I'm going to write average atomic mass is equal to the sum of the isotope mass times the fractional abundance. So I'm just going to abbreviate that as fractional abundance. Okay. And so let's go ahead and start filling things in. All right. So our first term is going to be so we're going to take that 98.89%, we're going to divide it by 100, okay? So the isotope mass is 12 AMU. We're going to multiply it by that natural abundance, turn it into a fraction, so we're going to divide it by 100, so we're going to end up with 0.9889, okay? So that's our first term. And then we're going to add to that our second term for the second isotope. 
and that's 13.0035335. Okay, AMU. Okay, and then that's going to be 0 0.011. Okay, so we're going to, again, actually one more one. Let me add that guy on there. Okay, so we're just dividing that 1.11% by 100, and we get 0 0.0111. All right, so now let's just go ahead, and now it's just a matter of doing the math. Okay, so we're going to end up with 11.8. 668 for the first term plus 0.144337 for the second. Okay, and that's going to give us 12.0111 AMU. And so we're not completely ridiculous. We're just going to go ahead and round it to some reasonable amount of terms. Um, and a reasonable amount of decimal places, so we're going to get 12.011 AMU. Okay? And that's what matches the periodic table. So that's our average atomic mass. Okay, so that's where those numbers come from. Again, it's a weighted average. It's the mass of the isotopes times their fractional abundance. And, of course, if there are six different naturally occurring isotopes, then there will be six different terms in this equation to calculate this average atomic mass.